Hey there, tennis fans. I'm Grace Carter, and this is Tennis Now, presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today, and it ships today. American tennis player Noah Rubin has created a phenomenal project that's giving voice to the personal lives of ATP and WTA pros in a way that we've never quite seen before. The project is called Behind the Racket. It's an Instagram feed that posts personal, often harrowing, and emotional confessions from players on the tour. It began in early January with a post from Rubin himself that begins as follows. To let down the people closest to me, my friends and my family, is my most daunting fear. Rubin goes on to say, the idea that it may not be worth it or there might not be a way to repay them haunts me at times. And from there, Behind the Racket took off. Since then, we have seen a total of 22 posts, and many of them have caused outpourings of support. Madison Keys revealed that she suffered from an eating disorder that nearly derailed her career. I was living off three 100-calorie bars a day, Key writes. I struggled with this problem for almost two years, which led to some issues with depression. I completely shut my friends and mom out of my life. American star Nicole Gibbs started her post with sort of a confession. I've suffered from depression since my early teens. I finally shared my story in a Telegraph article at the beginning of 2018, but by that time, I'd been grappling with whether to go public with my struggles for years. She goes on to say, at a career high ranking of 71 in the world, competing at the French Open in Paris, how is it possible that you're this miserable? There are, as of March 7th, 22 posts in total, and each of them shares a story of struggle, but it's not all bleak and scary. Rubin's project has created a place for players to come to find camaraderie in a tennis world that can border on cold and unforgiving. I mean, let's face it, it's doggy dog on the tennis tour where players battle for points and for some, the pressure can be unrelenting. It's no secret that players outside the top 100 have trouble breaking even financially, but behind the racket puts faces to names and helps us understand the plight of the athlete. Here's another example. My father wasn't around much, writes American pro Nathan Pasha. When I was 13, I watched him get sentenced for real estate fraud. Despite always having a connection since he was my father, we never became that close because he was in jail for most of my childhood. The living situation wasn't ideal. It got so bad for about two years that we lived without running water, heat, or air conditioning. The limited money affected my tennis. Behind the Racket is fueled by Ruben's passion for art and his love of photography. After years on the tour, the Long Island native has found a brilliant way to mesh his passions in an unconventional yet uplifting way. Fraught with emotion and aching to find solutions, Behind the Racket is giving voice to the under-the-radar emotional lives of tennis players. It may not solve all their problems, but having their voices heard and knowing that they're not alone is a first giant step in that direction. We hope you enjoyed today's feature on Noah Rubin. Follow his Instagram feed at Behind the Racket and on Twitter at Behind T Racket. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.